Hello, hello, hello to all of the viewers out there. Welcome to the Lion's Gate portal reading. This is a general reading for all viewers. All right, if you want a specific reading, I am running a special for the next four days. But this is just a general reading for all viewers. All right, we will be finding out what you are manifesting what you need to leave behind and what you are manifesting at this time. Okay, be mindful of your thoughts. The portal is open and today is the strongest day to manifest your um your thoughts into fruition, okay? Today is the strongest day. So be mindful of what you are thinking at this time. All right, let me shuffle this um, last deck. I don't know what that noise is. But yeah, let me know in the comment section below if the reading is resonating. This um, will be time stamped, so if you don't want to go through the shuffling, you can skip right to the reading. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up image. It helps the video circulate and it shows that you show support to this channel. And I will be going live tonight at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you are interested in um, joining in for live questions and answers. All right, so we are going to get started with um, what do you need to leave behind? What do you need to leave behind? So you have the page of wands here starting out. So I feel like you need to finish what you start. I feel like some of you are very enthusiastic. You're very optimistic. You're creative. I feel like you may be impatient and you want things to happen right now and spirit is saying and because things are not happening right now you tend to shy away from completing what you started so spirit wants you to know to finish what you start okay so leave the incomplete energy behind not being able to complete an assignment not to be able not being able to finish what you start. Leave that in the past. What do you need to take with you at this time? You have the Ten of Pentacles. Okay? So right now, what you need to take with you is your the thought of peace and contentment. The things that keep you at peace and feeling content in your life at this time. This could be honoring your family. This could be working towards financial security, okay? This could be building financial security. Passing on knowledge from one generation to the next generation. Take all of those with you because it makes you feel good. It makes you feel content and it brings peace to your life, okay? This is what makes you happy. These are the things that make you happy. All right. So then we have, what will you find during this time? What will you find during this time? During this Lion's Gate portal? You will find that you need to balance out your life. Okay, and that may be the reason why you're not able to finish what you started because some of you are just work, 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 and no play. Or you may be um, also so focused on work that you are neglecting your um, connecting to your spiritual side. In life, we need balance, okay? So what you will find is during this time is that, and you're reflect, reflecting, is that you need to balance out your social life, your spiritual life, and your work life, okay? Because without that balance, it will cause you to become very stressed. It will also create other health issues, headaches, 
okay? Just feeling groggy, feeling like you don't have the energy to do this or do that, okay? And that all aids into you not being able to finish what you start, all right? You will activate the energy. You will activate the energy to move forward, to push your fears aside at this time, to take a leap of faith in a new direction, to have a new start, to walk away from the people, places, and things that no longer serve you, okay? Because during this time, I feel like you are doing a lot of reflecting, all right? The Lion's Gate portal is open. I see you doing reflection at this time, and there are a lot of opportunities, a lot of doors that are opening or could open for you. However, on tonight, tonight is the night for you to do the reflecting, for you to sit with yourself and maybe do some type of ritual or, you know, play some manifestation music, but just clear your mind so that you can go in a direction that you want to go in, all right, without any blockages. Because some of you have a lot of blockages and it could be like your family, your friends, it could be a significant other, but there are blockages there that are causing you to start things and just not finish them. This could be your work, Okay, again, some of you are like overworking. Um, this could be the lack of balance in your life that you need to focus on at this time. But yeah, those things are keeping you from moving forward. And Spirit is saying, like now it's time to activate a fresh new start. Now it's time to trust that you can put those fears aside or put push those things people, places, and things aside and take a leap of faith in the direction that you want to take for yourself. All right? So what will become, what will become clear at this time? What will become clear at this time? So once you push those things aside, what becomes clear is exactly what it is in your heart that you want to do. And you taking those steps those necessary steps to move in that direction, okay? You taking those necessary steps to move in the direction that your heart desires. This will change you because you will be able to walk away from things that lack integrity, people that lack integrity, situations that um, cause you to gamble your emotions and your... your um, your actions, things that you you will be able to walk away from things or people that you feel make unwise decisions and choices in their life. You'll be able to see straight through them and you will be able to avoid them. You'll be able to see the red flags now going through this process. But in order to get to this place, you have to go through the process. So you will be benefited because you'll be able to protect your energy. Okay, you'll be able to protect your energy. You'll be prepared for things and darts that come your way. You'll be able to knock those darts off and keep on doing what it is that you're doing, going in the direction in which you want to go in, and you will be able to complete what you want to do, complete what you started, because now you will have the show, the guard, and the power to continue to move forward without um, going off task or taking a detour because, you know, you're not um, filling up to it or someone came against what it is that you wanted to do or something came, an occurrence came to knock you down. You'll be able to work right through it. And finally, a message from Sirius, an enlightened message is the first quarter, okay? So it is time to commit. It is time to commit. So I feel like we are, I want to say in the second quarter still. So I feel like if you start this work now, 
okay? I feel like working towards your goals. Well, okay, first releasing those things that no longer serve you. And that requires you to reflect, to ask, and to be able to see who's good for you and who's not. The universe will begin to show you those people, okay? And reflecting on your actions, what is what are the, what are the things that are causing you to not move forward? That are, that are what are the things that you're doing that's keeping you held bound or keeping you stuck in the past, keeping you bound to people that no longer serves your highest purpose. What are the things that you're thinking about that are creating lack for you, okay? What's blocking your manifestation from coming into fruition? Oh, that's the overall thing. What is, lack, what, is, what is blocking your manifestation from coming into fruition is the question. And I feel like once you, again, go through this process, your manifestation and your work, the work that you're doing now, because this is part shadow work, dealing with your um, your inner child. I consider that shadow work or the part of you that is triggered. Any part of you that is triggered is there to teach you a lesson. So the question is, are you learning the lesson? Are you removing those blockages? Are you removing those people and the places and the things that are triggering you, that are causing you to um, not move forward and be at the place that you want to be, okay? So again, once you go through this process, you will see your, you will begin to see your manifestation coming into fruition. It, it may be starting now, like right after you, you know, start this, this process, which could be tonight right after you put it out into the atmosphere, trust me, it will begin to start working. So again, be mindful of your thoughts, be mindful of the words that you are saying about yourself, the words that you are thinking about yourself and the conversations that you are having with yourself because those are the things that you are manifesting into fruition. It's going to come full-fledged, possibly the beginning of 2024. All right, so I'm going to leave it at that, viewers. This is the Lionsgate Portal general read for everyone. If you feel like you need a specific reading to find out what you're manifesting or what you should be manifesting, um, check the email. It's listed in the description box below. But be safe. Be blessed. Don't forget I'm going live tonight at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thanks for joining in and watching, and I will see you next time. Peace.